interesting because most spiritual quests are looking for the unity, you know, the unity consciousness, um, mm. which one call, can call this the source consciousness of the, the all that is, the oneness that we all are, right? That underlies all of these different forms. But um, to me, that was never enough because that didn't explain how did I get to be living this particular form of me here, right? If I'm mm. just source, why don't I just, just dissolve into the, the ethers of oneness? And so mm. there's got to be more, there's got to be more sense of boundary or more sense of something that defines me as separate from you, right? Mm -hmm. So Tom is a person who's sitting there and of course you're source and i'm source but wait a minute you're different than me and like what <laughs> makes you different than me so and if it's not your persona and it's not your protectors it's not your ego then what is the essence of the quality of who you are versus who i am mm. so that's what i started really becoming fascinated by and about Wow. Wow. So yeah. Okay. I, I really am fascinated with that because, you know, you look at the Eastern traditions and the, and the philosophy and so much dedication has been, you know, you know, so they, they've written all these things about um, probing the depths of consciousness and going lower and lower and lower. And then I'm very similar to you. I, I didn't like it because I'm like, Oh, and then when you get to the bottom, we're all just one. And then it's like, well, but like, that's so simple. Like, like, how can we, Oh, that's the answer. It's to me, that's so absolutist, you know? So, and I don't think I've any, I don't think I've heard anyone say, well, what's deeper than that. So um, what was some of the, you know, the gold mines that you found on that path? Well, the, the shift happened to me um, when I was, I was doing a personal psychedelic journey and I was, I was actually going into the journey for the purpose of, it's like basically, like you said, what the F went wrong with my life. Like, mm. you know, I had done all of this work, psychological work. I mean, I was really functional. I was really functional. I, you know, had a house and a career and a relationship. So there was nothing that I had to fix anymore mm. that was wrong with me. But there was some way that I just wasn't understanding um, why I was here, who I was, and what was I here for, and where did I come from, and what. That's what I went into the journey to discover, and I got the answers. So mm -hmm. that was when it started to open up. And then when I got those answers, because I because it felt like I asked the right questions. Like I could never get those answers before because I didn't ask those questions. Mm. So it, before it was about how do I become more functional or how do I have a good relationship or how do I make more money or whatever it is like, you know, or what's my belonging in this world that had been answered to a certain extent, but there was this one level where it wasn't answered and I wanted to know more. And so that's when I started asking that question, like, who am I? Where did I come from? If I never felt like I really belonged here on earth, right? And I wasn't in the, the mainstream of the culture functioning like you're supposed to be doing, then who the heck was I? And so like I was asking and I got my answers. Um, that's when the doors just opened. And in that process, that's what was so interesting is it also opened me up to the discovery of capacities that I didn't know I had because all of those capacities were left behind um, and they weren't of that they couldn't take them like I couldn't take them into this life so I had to those were the soul some of the soul parts that I started to rediscover that the actual soul as it travels through time um, we dimensions and other realms and other places and we can do all the psychological work we can do in this life and never retrieve those parts because they're not here in this lifetime they never came in so that's what became began to fascinate me because what actually happened when i made that shift was i discovered parts of myself that I always had had an inkling I had, but I didn't know how to, I had no idea until they began to land. And when they began to land, there was an actual re, you know, recalibration, so to speak, of 
who I am as a person in the world. So that became very real. It wasn't just a fantasy. The capacity mm-hmm. began to show up. 